Hello, this is Brittany with r, &R Windows and Doors, windowpartcenter.com, and today we have a tutorial for our part number 331 compression tilt jam liners. And these are kind of the commonly asked questions we get on how to order to replace these. So the first thing you're going to need to determine is if you do have the compression tilt jam liner. So I'm gonna show you a few of the options that were on them and show you the old style that's there and now the current version, that's the direct replacement. So what you do receive when you order our 331 compression tilt jam liner kit is you're going, each kit comes with two jam liners, a right and a left, and it includes the clutch shoe and the springs pre-installed for you. You're going to get four new clutch pins. Some customers say they can use their existing clutch pins and these screw in on the sides of your sash. The sash is the part that's wood that has the glass that moves up and down the jam liner, opens and closes the window. Also includes all the screws you're going to need as well as instructions for you. They will come in white or in beige. So for ease of use right now, I have the white showing in the old style, I have the current version showing in beige, but the new style comes in both colors still. So a few things you're going to look at is one, the clutch shoes look like this, and the springs look like this, and they kind of have like this powdery, um, hairy little substance on the springs that is on there and that's from the manufacturer that's not extra dirt or anything the new styles you get has a little bit different style of clutch shoe and that's what the clutch pin fits in and they glide up and down and then the springs are just like a silver color they don't have that powder coating um, on them like the old ones do just a little note if your vinyl jam liners are in good shape and you don't need to replace these we do still offer we can still get these old clutch shoes and these exact springs um, with this powder coating on it. So you can just replace those. We have a video showing how to just replace these. We also have another video um, that you can look back on that shows how to, we're at customer's home where we are removing these old jam liners and replacing them. So you can take a look at both of those videos as well. The other thing you want to take note of is at the bottom is a 14 degree, they're cut at a 14 degree, and this is because the windows that these compression tilt jam liners were used on have a 14 degree sill slope on the outside of the window, so that's why it's cut there, and both of them have that. The next thing you're going to note between the old style and the new style, the old style had these little flanges because to install them, there's the cavity of the window that these fit into, but you had to compress them and they were kind of difficult to do. You had to compress it in like this and these would slip into a little groove in the window that would hold them in place. But they still kind of moved, which was a pain um, in that groove. So a second generation came out and it had a screw at the top that screwed right into here to help keep them in place. The original version did not have this. The second version used a screw and the flange with the uh, replacement version, they got rid of that flange. So it helps a bit with installation. Um, and instead of just having one screw at the top, they have screw holes all down the entire length of these jam liners to keep them in place for you. Next for these jam liners, they are able to take the inch and three eighths or one and a quarter inch sash depth and then we are also going to um, show you a few different uh, measurements on here between the old one and the new one. So you can also verify to make sure this is the jam liner you have. Um, these little flanges. If we measure this with the flanges, it comes to 3 and 11 sixteenths inch without the flanges, so this side to this side, not including these flanges, because remember, these you'd have to squeeze and these would fit into a groove. So without the flanges, 
here at three and five sixteenths. Now for the version you will receive, that's the direct replacement. Um, again, there's no flange. This just fits into your cavity. You still have the foam piece on the back. Its measurement is three and seven sixteenths, but it is the direct replacement. So that's the difference between the two. And I don't have a compression tilt style window. They're just too old and I don't have any samples anymore, but I do have a picture of what it looked like. You had um, a sash and you had to actually press in on the jam liner on either side for this sash. This is the sash, the top and the bottom one for it to tilt out. And so then you could remove it. So you had to actually press in on them on the side. So I'll show you with an easy tilt um, window that I do have next. So I do have a sample window of the next generation up and this one was called an easy tilt. This one is not a compression tilt and how you can tell is even though it has a vinyl jam liner which looks pretty similar to the compression tilt is the biggest way you can see is there's a lock but it has these tilt latches and that's what makes it an easy tilt. Compression tilt did not have these. So what you have to do is you actually have to physically press in on the jam liners to be able to tilt out that sash. So if you have little tilt latches like this, you do not have a compression tilt windows. If you have a lock with, and this is just solid wood up to the jam liner, then you could possibly have the compression tilt jam liner. And then you'd have to do some measurements to verify like the width and things like that. Last thing I wanted to show you is I talked about that 14 degree sill angle. This is the window sill. This is the outside of a double hung window. And so it's at a 14 degree angle for the compression tilt style jam liners. And um, you can get an angle finder, such an angle finder. I can show you your angle that it's at 14 degrees. Okay, and next, uh, we're gonna have to do a part two because I'm limited to 10 minutes on TikTok um, on how to use our chart to order the right size. So this was all just to show you how you can verify that you do have the compression tilt jam liner. So we'll see you in part two, thanks.